Also available on video and DVD. A sorcerer from ancient Egypt is on the loose. Only one force can stop the evil scarab. With the strength of Ra! The mummies brought back to life to protect the descendant of a 3,000-year-old boy pharaoh. Our heroes take to the water and the air to combat the scarab in a never-ending battle that can only be won by the brilliant warrior leader, Jakal. The inventive wrath. The mighty and hungry Armand and Nefertina and her super fast Hatra. The mummy's alive. Hello, mummies. You can save me anytime now. From an old house in Paris, all covered with vines, come magical videos for the very first time, and the star of them all is Madeline. Starring in three fabulous adventures, it's your favorite friend, Madeline. Très bien, very good. Join Madeline, Miss Clavel, Pepito, and all her friends in these three delightful videos from the incredible world of Decom Entertainment. Ooh. Sing along with Madeline as she presents her first collection of her favorite songs. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. I'm happy for the chance to get to meet you. Then join Madeline's spectacular Halloween adventure in the great big city of New York. Candy. Finally, Madeline and her friends learn a thing or two about manners. Yes, manners do matter. You are right. Don't miss your favorite friend, Madeline. Coming soon to video and DVD. Adieu. Hi, I'm Melissa Joan Hart. I play Sabrina the Teenage Witch in the hit primetime series. I love cartoons and my all-time favorite is Deke's animated Sabrina series. Meet Sabrina Spellman. She's just an ordinary girl. My life is so not normal. Well, okay, she's a witch. Well, actually, she's only half witch. So which half is which? You'll have to ask Salem, Sabrina's talking cat. Excuse me, but I am most certainly not a cat. Sabrina's not supposed to use her magic yet, but sometimes she just can't help it. That's when the trouble starts and the fun begins. Sabrina, she'll cast a spell on you. Let's do it again soon. I'm 
beg you, sir. There is a seal on this tomb. Perhaps it is best we do not open it. The hand of Amenhotep seals this door. Woe to him who breaks the seal, for he shall... Do not go in! It is cursed! Yourself, whatever's in there hasn't been able to hurt anyone for 3,500 years. I don't think it's going to start now. It's empty. These aren't hieroglyphs, more like someone counting. Yusuf? Yusuf? <gasps> Just like that someday. Race you down the hill, Walter. It's too steep, Presley. Excuse me. And toast yourself, not me. What kept you, Slowpoke? Cool Sphinx. The tomb of Pharaoh's son, with his mummy missing. Is it alive? Alive! Presley, you're nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry, we just can't afford to book your exhibit. Yes, well, the Rapsies exhibit is expensive, but Mr. Stone's donations covered those costs. Yes, we go ahead. Of course, the Harris Stone. Is that you, Walter? Come back to me, my son. Knock it off, Walter. I'm not falling for it. Rapsies. Prince Rapsi's pet. Poor little guy. Hey, I don't even like cats. Why am I upset? This is starting to get weird. He has come back. Don't you recognize me, my prince? Don't you remember your old pal, Scarab? Your father entombed me 3,500 years ago. I have no idea what you're talking about. Help! Oh no. With the strength of Ra!
better than that. No way I could explain this to Mom. What a mess. You are wise, young prince. Even the desert lion retreats when the pack of hunting dogs is too large. The sacred cat will go first. <coughs> Armon, after you. <coughs> <coughs> They do not see us. You are safe now. We have obeyed the command of Pharaoh. Wow. How do you do that? Magic? So, why don't you guys stay pumped up all the time? It makes you look less... dead. The magic that gives us strength is limited. When it wanes, we must rest in our sarcophagi to renew it. Kind of like my mom's cell phone. What is a cell phone? Ah, well, uh, it's a, um, uh, you uh, wouldn't understand. Well, I guess we cannot go back there now. Hey, I know where you guys can hang out for a while. Hurry up, we've got some pretty snoopy neighbors. The great house of your father in Memphis was much larger. How do you know my dad was from Memphis? We know every detail of your life. You are Rapses, the only son of Pharaoh Amenhotep. Hold on, guys. The name's Presley Carnivon. I was only in that sarcophagus what's it's because those clayface dudes were chasing me. They were chasing you because you are Rapses. You got the wrong guy, pal. I'm not Rapses. I've never even been to Egypt. Who are you guys? I am Jakal. This is Armon and Raf. And he is Nefer. You mean she? No, not no, just a boy. How boy. would you know? No, no. A actually, the prince is right. I am Nefertina. I only pretended to be a man, since women are not allowed to drive the chariots of the pharaoh. No wonder he never went swimming in the Nile with us. Only Prince Rapses knew. Oh, would you guys give the Rapses thing a rest? <laughs> I don't understand, Mr. Hepplewhite. Why would thieves take the mummies and leave all these priceless works of art? Perhaps the criminals intend to return. Mr. Stone, may I say what an honor and privilege it is to... What we have to consider now is the safety of the treasures of Rapses. They must be sent back to Egypt. Tonight. But the exhibit just opened! I'm paying for this exhibit, Ms. Carnivon. I feel a responsibility to the owners. People have been waiting months to see this exhibit. We have an obligation to keep it open. Mr. Stone, sir, what Amanda is trying to say is... Would ten million dollars take care of your obligations? What Amanda is trying to say is... We'll start packing immediately. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You're supposed to guard the Pharaoh's son even though you're like mummies. So if I'm in trouble, I mean, when Rapsies is in trouble, you call on Ra and whoever, and they give you the power to kick butt, right? But why in the name of Ra would anyone want to kick Tut? Excuse me, Rapsies. But I opened the white stone sarcophagus and saw the offerings of food inside. White stone sar... You mean the refrigerator? Ah, refrigerator. And what is the significance of the mummified bird? Leftovers. Help yourself. Thank you, my prince. Will you quit calling me? It's Mom. You guys gotta hide. 
This is my room. Just stay in here and keep quiet. Here, so you don't get bored. On your knees! It's just a movie. Such swift chariots! Where are the horses? Police cars. Just be cool, guys. Hiya, sweetie. I brought you some takeout. Something's come up at the museum. Uh-oh. There should be some leftover apple pie for dessert. Uh, maybe you'd better skip dessert. Presley, honey, I've got to get back to the museum. Somebody stole the mummies from the Rapsies exhibit. Now Mr. Stone wants us to pack up the whole thing and ship it back to Egypt. Oh, no. Bad news. Your sarcophagus, what's it, sir, being sent back to Egypt? Get the little creep! <gasps> Rapsies, look out! <laughs> The tiny man inside the spirit box won't threaten you anymore. That spirit box was wired for cable. Hmm. I definitely gotta get you guys back to Egypt. We cannot return to Egypt. We have to stay to protect you. The sarcophagus of Rapses was brought here to lure you into the open, like a hunter staking out a goat to draw the hungry lion. Yeah, whatever. Our sarcophagi are in the house with wheels. That's the last one. Let's hit the road. We gotta stop that truck. We can follow in the horseless chariot. Hey, no way. That's Mr. Hebblewhite's car. He's my mom's boss. Look, nobody here has a driver's license. And we don't have any keys. <gasps> Do they teach you nothing in your school? Awaken sleeping chariot. Mom is gonna kill me. I'll take the reins of the chariot. If the tiny people in the spirit box can do it, so can I. At least fasten your seatbelts. What is a seatbelt? <laughs> Under the hood. They must be very small horses. Hold it! Stop! Huh? What? Oh! I feared we had lost you, old prince. Now you know what seatbelts are for. On, little horses! Out again tonight. We both are. The mummies' sarcophagi are on their way back to Egypt. Without them, the mummies will never survive. Take the reins of the chariot, O oh Prince. Huh? We shall return, O oh Prince. Jerk from the museum. Yeah, what's going on, officer? I gotta get this load to the airport. Huh? Well done, my shanty. Now destroy the truck and everything in it. Rapses, and without your guardians. Don't worry, I need you alive. But not for long. <laughs> With the strength of love! Let's get tight! Let's get tight!
Your magic is slowed in 3,500 years. Go. I'm on. Not a problem. Oh, no. All muscle and no brains. Destroy the truck. Leave nothing the mummies can use. Your sarcophagus stop! Kindly exit through the rear of the vehicle. <laughs> has told us, always be sure to wear a seatbelt. Jakarl has saved you for the last time. <gasps> I don't think so. I will destroy those mummies, even if I must shatter the world to do it. I better get inside before Mom realizes I'm gone. You guys gonna be all right? Where are you gonna go? It is our duty to take care of you, not yours to take care of us. We will be close by. We know a place. It may not be home, but it will have to do. Apologies, O oh Prince. Uh, no, no, my fault. I guess I should have knocked her something. This new life is requiring some adjustments. That's okay. It's not every day a guy wakes up and finds out he's a mummy. Hey, Raph! That key you gave me worked great! It's not a key. It's an eye of raw amulet. And it may be all that stands between you and the beast, Scarab. Whoa! It's glowing! Hmm. I've charged this one with special energies found in this scroll the Pharaoh left us. It should... Blur you from his sight for a while. Um, Rav, can you hurry it up a little? <clears throat> and, um, help us keep an eye on you. <clears throat> Why doesn't he just look me up in the phone book? He knows you as Rapsies, not as Presley Carnivan. And since there isn't a listing for Rapsies in the phone book... Then you should be safe. Hey, Presley, did you bring the Mr. Beefy Burgers? I got four of them. One for each of you. Never mind. You know, they'd taste better if you took the wrappings off before eating them. Really? Armand, that's not what I meant. Wow! You've really made some changes around here. I am ready to test the launching ramp. Greetings, Presley. Time to rinse and repeat. That's rock and roll. Whatever. Ah! Tina, are you all right? Oh, do it again! This cannot be happening to me. The magic of the Pharaoh shields that accursed brat. I cannot bring him to me. The 
3,500 years stuck in a tomb, and now this. I tell you, it's a living nightmare. A living nightmare? Hacker, that's it. No, that's not it. Not a living nightmare. Way too dangerous. Scarab, stop! Scarab, this would be a good time to wake up. Real good. Let me compliment you on your timing. I have captured the dream, Hecker. A real, living nightmare. Now all I have to do is find a way to give this dream to Rapsis. And then the boy will be mine. Huh? Oh, no. Guys, you gotta hurry! There are bulldozers outside and they're gonna... Protect the prince. I will handle these dozing bulls. I am not exactly sure myself. Wrath, what happened to me? It's, um... <clears throat> it's far too complicated to explain right now. He does not know either. I heard that. We are ready for the next assault, but where are the bulls? Bulldozers. These machines? The museum must have decided to tear down the Sphinx. Just give me room enough to swing. No, not that way. They'll just send more. But I know a way we might save the Sphinx. This just in. Protesters dressed in Egyptian mummy costumes are picketing the Bay Area Art Museum, demanding that the Sphinx be allowed to remain permanently. Hey, look. It's Rapsis. What? Where? Right there. All I can see are those accursed mummies. Well, Rapsis is right there with them. Well, since I cannot yet see Rapsis, I need to send another to deliver my living nightmare. My shadow is the perfect messenger. This is so creepy. We attack them with these wooden standards? It's called a sign, and you carry it, not hit with it. What a strange way to fight. Trust me. D yes, Mr. Mayor. The protesters will be removed immediately. No one disrupts my museum. D consider it done. Here, don't make them mad. M me? Uh, people, protesting like this won't get you what you want. The Sphinx was never supposed to be permanent. Ra is angry. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. Jerry, what happened to those lights? Ow! I think I got stung by a bee. Ooh. You know, guys, it's way past my bedtime. Ooh. Presley, honey, I'm sorry I'm late, but there was this protest at the museum and I... I just had the weirdest dream. <sighs> oh well. There's no place like home. Wake up, Presley. Time to get up. <sighs> Presley, you've been staying up way too late, honey. You look tired. When will Father return from Nubia? 
Nubia? Yes, my queen. The Pharaoh regrets that his campaign in Nubia keeps him from your side. Thank you, Scarab. That will be all. As always, I am your humble servant. Oh, I hate that guy. Rapsies, Scarab is the Pharaoh's most trusted advisor. You must show him the respect a governor deserves. That doesn't mean I have to like him. Mother, can I go see Father? I know you miss him, dear, but you must carry on with your studies. Aw, do I have to? A Pharaoh must be master of many skills. You want to be ready, don't you? Now hurry up, you'll be late for the bus. Presley! Hey, wait! Wait! You gonna sit with my sister? I know that you are a girl. What did you say? I know that you're just pretending to be a boy. It's against the law for girls to drive chariots. But don't worry, I'll keep it a secret, if you let me drive. You are not ready, my prince. Your father would never allow it. He won't let you drive either if he finds out you're a girl. See? I do too know how to drive. Can it go any faster? What are you doing? Faster! Get down. Faster! Never let me drive and... Drive? By the wings of Horace, you should be learning to write. The lessons I teach you will endure forever, like the pyramids. They sure seem to. <laughs> Arise, oh Prince of Egypt! You are sleeping like a crocodile. Now, back to your studies. I was having that dream again of a strange place filled with horseless chariots and buildings made of glass. This is no time for such fantasies. I am trying to teach you science. Now, <clears throat> do you want to learn how to change a staff into a snake or don't you? Oh, all right. Now, repeat after me. One of the most common elements. May this wooden staff be like... Be like the sacred serpent that coils around the golden disk of Ra. May this... You have something you wish to share with us, Mr. Conovan? Ah! You told me! Ah! 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 The Pharaoh wishes you to become a great warrior, my prince. Today you learn how to fight unarmed. Uh, I mean without weapons. Now, assume this position. What's that supposed to be? Jerkhead karate? It's called Egyptsu. Ooh, I'm so scared. Very good, my prince. I think you are getting the feel of this. Perhaps, my prince, if you're done pummeling Armon, you would like to test your skills as a hunter. Just let me get my clothes, Jakal. Rapsies! Jakal! Anybody? Hey! Oh, it's just you, Scarab. Come with me at once, my prince. I am going hunting with Jakal. Mighty Pharaoh has returned from Nubia to meet with you in secret. He awaits in the desert of the Western Nile. I must tell Jakal where I am going. Your guardians cannot be trusted, especially Jakal. There is a conspiracy in the palace. That's why your father needs your help. Here, take this. You'll be hungry later. Tia, you are too good to me. What's this? <laughs> Your son insisted on helping me with the ink making. You are both too good to me. Someone needs to be. You take care of everyone, except yourself. The Pharaoh is absent so often. Young Rapsies needs our guidance, like our dear Padjet. Jakal! Where is 
Where's Rapsis? Didn't he leave with you for the hunt? He went to get his clothes. I shall get the other guardians. We will find him. I swear it. Don't worry. I'll return soon, my love. Fear not, young prince. Your travels are nearly at an end. enough for me to truly see him. Wrath, I need your help. Presley hasn't returned from school yet. This will seek out Presley's amulet. How can we make our way safely through this strange new world without Rapsies? Uh, Presley? Our prince said as long as we marched under these standards, no one will notice we're mummies. Cannot you see your father waiting for you? Father! Father! Those centuries I suffered, locked in that tomb, I didn't simply dream of escape. I dreamt of world domination. Funny, I was dreaming about a nice warm rock and a rat sandwich. Soon enough, all our dreams will come true. Hey, Scarab, now that you're about to become immortal, where are you gonna go? You're supposed to say, I'm going to... How convenient. Now I can finish off you mummies without hunting you down. We were denied the chance to stop your evil once before. That won't happen again. When my Shaptis finish with you, I'll use your wrappings as dusters. With, with the strength of Rock! Strangest dream. 
Boy, I hope I'm still dreaming. Get you to safety. And after an enormous spontaneous demonstration near City Hall, the mayor has announced that the Sphinx will not be demolished. At least not for now. How can we be in the magic box when we are sitting here? It's far too complicated to explain. Jakal, was that dream I had real? I mean, is that really what happened to me back then? Yes, Presley, I'm afraid it was. Did you find me in time? We found you, but Scarab's forces were too strong. We couldn't save you or ourselves. Pharaoh had ordered us to protect you, and we failed. What happened to your family? I don't know. It was Rapsi's fault. My fault. Jakal, I don't know how, but someday I'll make it up to you. I promise. took my son's life. Now his spirit wanders without rest, waiting to be reborn. You can't harm me. I shall live for 50 lifetimes. I'll still be young when you've been in your tomb a thousand years. At least when I'm in my tomb, I'll be dead. See the jackal in his den. Wait. You can't. A great pharaoh, I, I beg you. The dream again. You can't know what it's like. An eternity in the dark, alone, over three thousand years without the sun. No wonder you've got such a lousy ten. That's it. The darkness. That's the key. Let me think. When the golden chariot of the sun has conquered the sky, but Ra hides his face in darkness, then must Pharaoh speak the words that bring everlasting life. What does that mean? It doesn't matter. First, I'll get my hands on Rapses. Then, I'll figure out what to do with him. Time to get up. Mm -mm. According to whom? <sighs> all right, already. Right, I'm awake. Come, look out here. Look out there and tell me what you see. When did I ask you to put that doggy off on the flower bed? Um, two days ago. Do it today, as soon as you get home from school. 
I don't want that dog digging up my flowers while we're in Yosemite. What's this? Uh, an amulet. Of course it's an amulet. We have one just like it at the Rapsies exhibit. Where did you get it? Uh, I uh, met some Egyptians. Uh, yeah, they gave it to me. Egyptians? Y yeah, they're exchange students, you might say. They're learning about our culture. I've got a lot to learn. What's up? It's as quiet as a tomb in here. Shh! The man in the magic box is about to foretell the future. Hey, it looks like another nice day tomorrow, but watch out for that early morning fog. The magic box can see the future. Guys, it's always foggy in San Francisco in the morning. Another man in the box said Apophis will soon swallow the disk of the sun and Ra will hide his face. The world will be plunged into darkness until Apophis spits the sun out again. He said all that? He called it an eclipse. Cool! No. Terrible things happen when Ra hides his face. Scarab may strike like the scorpion in the darkness, but we'll be waiting. We'll watch your house, follow you to school, protect you. No way not to school. Besides, Scarab will never get me. I'm leaving for Yosemite with Mom. Family bonding. And even if Scarab did try something, I'd just call for help with the amulet. Later, guys. The last time Scarab struck, Rapsies was unable to call for help. We need someone to watch over him, without being noticed. Hero, sacred kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> The Eye of Horus will let us see what God he sees. Is it wise to give such power to a cat? I mean, think what he might do to the furniture. Prince Rapses will not let us follow. This is the only way. The boy means much to me. Watch over him. Presley, let's go! promised to do that right after school. Sorry, Mom, I had to talk to some people. <laughs> Look at the sky. Isn't nature wonderful? This is going to be a great weekend. Trackers of soul. I call you to the hunt. Pharaoh's son is your prey. I brought you through the Western Gate to hunt down Prince Ramses. A mutt! I didn't summon you. The devourer of souls followed me home one day, and now I can't get rid of him. This should give you the scent. should have let Amanda go home. <laughs> this job's starting to get to me.
said it would be sunny and warm. I told you this would help us bond. There's nothing like a shared misery to bring people together. This isn't so bad, Mom. been there to protect you. It's not your fault, father. Are you okay? I was dreaming of my father. I mean, somebody's father. Not dad, you know, but somebody like him. It's okay to miss your dad, honey. If you wish you were camping with him instead of me, I, I understand. You want to know the truth, mom? I don't really like camping. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> Cotty is moving again. Maybe she's hungry. is in danger. I knew we should have gone with him. How do we get to him in time? How do we find this Yosemite? Of course! The pyramid! No eternal dwelling, abode of what was, what is, and what shall be. Show us the way to Yosemite. But steer towards the morning house of Ra. We journey towards the rising sun. What then? Ask a policeman. Never change. <gasps> oh, Presley, Presley, that dog's in the flowers again. From beyond the western gate, pursue Prince Rapses. Please, guide us to Yosemite. <laughs> yeah, right. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard that one. <laughs> now just head north to the next exit. It'll take you right to the park. <laughs> oh, moment, man. Patrol 12, do you need backup? Uh, negative. Uh, dispatch should, um... It, it was nothing. <laughs> I didn't see him, big. dog I've ever seen. Ah! Too bad, Fido. 
Sam's really gone to the dogs. Never venture so far again. You must stay by my side so I can watch over you like a father watches a son. I've already got a father, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to have a mummy for a daddy too. morning. How about a hike before breakfast? How can you be tired after such a good night's sleep? Ra hides his face in darkness. Then must Pharaoh speak the words that bring everlasting life. What does it mean? I'm trying to read here. You're blocking my light. That's it. The eclipse. It will be the end of Rapsith and the beginning of my immortality. Scarab. Keep it down. Are you trying the mud bath again? You know it gives you a rash. No. I am preparing to summon Geb, the spirit of the earth. Geb? That's too... <laughs> dangerous. Don't tell me about dangerous. Gray hair. My gray hairs. I'm growing old. I was supposed to rule the world, not rot in some tomb for 50 lifetimes. Oh, only the Pharaoh's spirit will keep me young forever. I'll use Geb to flush out the boy who holds the Pharaoh's spirit. During tomorrow's eclipse, after the boy recites her special incantation, the spirit of the Pharaoh will be mine. You think the kid's gonna go along with all this? I can be. Very persuasive. No, hold it more like this. Hey, it's kind of a boomerang. If you say so. Uh, try it. Oops. Oh, really, Armon? If you must rest, do it in your sarcophagus. <clears throat> now, young prince, I've been studying what I can about the spirit of the pharaoh that dwells inside you. Hold it. Hold it! I can handle that I'm talking to real mummies. Sort of. But I'm not a young prince. I do not have some funky old spirit inside of me. Ah, but you are and you do. See? The amulet's glow proves it. It does not. But 
sunset, you say? Yes. Hmm. Wonder when that is. When the sun goes down. Ah, uh, when the sun sets. Why didn't you say that? But I tell you, someone has awakened Geb, the spirit of the earth, from his sleep. Spirits have nothing to do with it. It was just an earthquake. San Francisco gets them all the time. See, the planet's surface is made of these huge plates that slide against each other. <laughs> Sounds like Armand eating dinner. <laughs> hey! No, really. There's a diagram right here in my science book. <laughs> 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 Fine, laugh it up. I'm going home to see if we have a gas leak. Ahem. Is it something we said? His feelings were hurt. Remember, he may be a prince, but he's still only a boy. <laughs> so we should check you for a gas leak. Well, there are earthquakes all over the world every day. Most of the time we never feel them, because they take place out at sea. Now, Presley, is this how you handle your responsibilities? Mr. Huxley, uh, I can explain. I should hope so, considering how the school board entrusted you with this textbook. But look, look at it now. Ruined. Hear me, Rapsis. <gasps> if you do not surrender before noon tomorrow, I shall shake this city until all that's left is a pile of rubble. I remind you tonight sunset of my power. <laughs> okay, class. What's so funny? Because when they happen, look out! <laughs> this is definitely not good. But how are we going to fight Gap? He's everywhere. We strike north, <laughs> west, <laughs> east, and south. Whatever you say. You guys can't go out there. It's too dangerous. Let's just give Scarab the spirit or the syrup or whatever he wants and get this over with. Go on. Take it. He can have it. No, he can't. Scarab believes that the spirit of the Pharaoh will give him eternal life. He will have the whole world under his thumb by supper. Supper. The only thing standing between Scarab and world domination is you. I remind you tonight at sunset of my power. Do we have to watch this? You're right. No TV at dinner. We should talk. Now, what's bothering you? You look like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. No kidding. Beg pardon? Look, Mom, is the museum safe? I, I mean, if a really big one hit, like, say, around noon tomorrow, would you be all right? Oh, don't worry about that, Presley. The museum was designed to be one of the most earthquake-safe buildings in the city. Good. The only thing happening at noon tomorrow is that eclipse, and an eclipse never hurt anyone. You're right. Look, I'm tired of running away from that scarab creep. I want to kick some tut too. Scarab is using Geb to draw you out. It's a trap. I don't understand the pyramid's directions. I asked it if it knew where Geb was. Epic. Enter? What does that mean? Not epic and enter, but epicenter. Ground zero for an earthquake. Oh, wait. The little man in the magic box said that the epicenter of the earthquake was in the bay. How did he now? Uh-huh. We'll escort you home, then face Geb. But, but... It takes a wise hunter to retreat from a lion's lair and live to hunt again. Whatever that means. Egyptian to see the Western Gate. The gate can only be open at night. It will disappear with the first rays of the sun. So, enjoy the view.
This is ridiculous. We've been cruising these waters for hours. Yes, it appears we failed. <gasps> As I said, Geb may find us, but we can't find Geb. Speak the name of Gel. I thought the Western Gate looked big. Good thing we did not bring the prince. You have Prince Rapsis, uh, the impudent one who brought me forth from the Western Gate. On our honor as the Pharaoh's guardians, he did not wake you nor bring you here. More lies and more lies. Do I look stupid to you? Why don't you tell him? You will pay for your arrogance! This is my kind of fight. Don't be too sure, Wrath. What is happening? We have to recharge. We've been out here too long. I'm nearly depleted as well. How are we going to beat Gab and Scarab? Head for the Western Gate. Aye, aye, Captain. We can trap Gab on the other side if we lure him through just before it closes at sunrise. But how are we going to do that? Perhaps with Scarab's assistance. Where's everybody going? Jacob, you'll never make it!
There must be some way to save Jakal. Yes, but surrendering yourself to Scarab isn't one of them. Jakal would agree. We exist to protect you, O oh Prince. Even if we have to sacrifice ourselves. I know. Your responsibility lies with your studies. Go to your school. We will rescue Jakal. When are we going to try to rescue Jakal exactly? After we rest and restore our powers. Otherwise, we'll be dead on our feet. Dead. <laughs> I get it. It's nearing noon. Time for the eclipse. You will never possess the spirit of the Pharaoh. You might as well finish with me now. Oh, but you're the key to this entire operation. The incantation that will grant me eternal life must be spoken during an eclipse. It must also be spoken by a Pharaoh. As it turns out, young Rapses is the only Pharaoh left. Rapses will never help you. And yet he will, in order to save you. No pharaoh would ever sacrifice himself for someone like me. Apparently. <laughs> this pharaoh would. No! <gasps> Look! Rapses is up there! Jakal hasn't recharged! He's powerless to protect him! Now, all you have to do is repeat a few simple words and your friend here goes free. No, don't! It doesn't matter what happens to me! It matters to me. It's the Western Gate! Opening in the middle of the day! The Eclipse must have caused it! Now we're in for real trouble! You mean we weren't before? With, With the, the strength, strength of Ra! I, Rapses, son of Amenhotep, ruler of the lands of Upper and Lower Egypt. Call on Ra of the Hidden Face to give this man, Scarab, eternal life. Call on Ra of the Hidden Face to give this man, Scarab, a swift kick in the tut! <laughs> That's not what he is. This is no game, boy. You're right, Prune Puss. Game's over. Go! The mutt, attack. Ah. Dumb mutt. Hey, it really does rain cats and dogs. Ugly dogs. Guess I am handy to have around. Cretans. One move and I let him go. Ah! Finish that incantation now. Please, before I say it, one last question. Be quick about it. It was you, wasn't it, who woke up Geb? Yes, of course it was me. Who else would have the wisdom to...
While I was hanging upside down, I saw Geb come through the gate. Figured you might want to chat. So you woke me. Of course, I must have rocks in my head. Not in there. No! Amat, stop! Bad dog! Bad dog! You've been practicing with the boomerang. Luckily for me. I figured I owed you one. I still do. Now let's not get so cozy here. You do realize Scarab will find some way to escape from Geb. Perhaps. And the Western Gate will open again at sundown and Scarab will return to this world. Aw, oh, cheer up, Wrath. As long as we are all together, it will all work out. Oh, I'm on! Pull me up! Pull me up this instant! Man, I think I'm in for one very weird time. Save the world today, the Egyptian way, the world. 